Hey guys, I'm back with another video. I'm gonna let, let, let me press, let me go ahead and get something out of the way right now. These types of news articles, I do not do on my channel. I focus on recall, like we call on food, we call on vehicles, and if new development information regarding the internet. But since this, this is a internet related story, it's the only reason why I'm doing this video. So I put Lynch's article in the squish mark in the squish box. This article comes from WAFFWAF.com. So a man arrested for allegedly damaging AT&T authorized utensil, utensil service box. A limestone county man is in a limestone county jail after deputies found several AT&T and all three utensil service box damage on Sunday. AT&T must have pissed him off. <laughs> that, ain't, that ain't funny. According to the officer, the deputy was, uh, responded to an intersection of, of how... What, Eight Highway 99 and Fort Hampton Road, and noticed that the damage that this that yeah, the suspect identified as Earl King 66 was not on the scene at the time. On Monday morning, 18 to respond to the fixed damage, but King refused to allow them near the box. Now, I stopped. <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, again, not funny. Not funny. Limestone kind of uh, dispute was born, and the tank came without incident. King was a Western and charged with a crime, mis mischief, first degree, criminal tampering, wing, first degree. He has a five thousand bond, but. It has been revoked due to the previous burglary, third degree charge. Oh, he taught the AT&T service by great day. Oh, AT&T, y'all really must have pissed that man off. Y'all really... <laughs> oh, goodness. AT&T... <laughs> uh, okay, AT&T is currently working to restore the service to, to customers affected by in the owner com in the owner's community so he did what he did so they're they working to reinstall his service to uh customers affected by the owner community and i and i found interesting that this article of this event happened today after it was just maybe a week or so ago, maybe a few weeks back, in another county, uh, AT and uh, T people who have AT and T, they they show it was out because uh, uh the uh, fiber situation, and they so was so out that the whole the whole community in that area was thinking about going to another provider. That happened uh, uh, like I said, I want to say like a a few weeks ago, and then this story come up. I, I don't agree with him. Uh, um, I don't agree with him uh, messing up their box. But but AT and T came with it. Uh, if you a customer and be with AT and T for a long time, it, 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 you do got some. You, you I would say this. You do got some. Uh, uh, in that couple that that can make you mad, but well, the way they go about stuff, but and maybe that was his case, but he didn't had he, he this man didn't had to go that far. <laughs> I mean, he told they service box up. Oh, they must have. I ain't like they must have. They really must have really pissed him off. But y'all let me y'all let me <laughs> y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section, and I'm out. And if they actually prove that he actually did do this, it's really going to be a mess. <laughs>
Lasagna. 